All right, the day has come. We're going to be trying Dover, and I'm scared. I, I mean, the spring race, we got lucky with a lot of factors. This one, I don't think we're going to be just as lucky. I mean, I guess we'll see and find out, but this is, for whatever reason, the hardest track in this game with the regular tracks, like the regular real-life tracks, so I don't really understand it. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're here. Uh, we're almost there to surpassing Richard Petty's win count. We're only three away from surpassing it, two to tie it. We could be very close to accomplishing that, at least getting one more step closer to it if we win today, but I don't think so. Um, paint scheme. It's a nice paint scheme. I just want to get in this. I want to see what happens. Um, so thank you, my tier two Patreon people, as well as my YouTube and support channel perks. You get early access videos like this, as well as shout emails for my stream. Thank you for what you guys do. I appreciate it. Let's get into over. I'm... I'm excited. I I got a little bit of, of jovial happiness knowing that I could be defeated today. Straight up. No caution perfectly timed. No caution glitch bristle. Like just straight up we can lose. And that's just surreal and exciting to me. Aw, Tony Stewart's on pole just like the spring Dover race. That's adorable. I, <laughs> this game really wants him to win, I think. I don't know. It's just... I don't know, but default setup, uh, that might affect us with us going to automatic and versus manual because we need every bit of 10th inch we could possibly get at every part of this track. So maybe that this is a track where it hurts us. I I don't know. But either way, I, I want to get this race going because I really want to see what we can do. Like, just, I, just, just MRN, please don't have any more lies. I'm just, I'm, they've been good lately, but just, just, I want this to continue. The lights are on, and we're ready to bring you another NASCAR Winston Cup Series race from the Dover International Speedway here on MRN. Now, Barney, this is one of the tougher tracks that we come to. Why is that? Oh, yeah, the Monster Mile. This one-mile oval may look easy, but, boy, let me tell you, it's a lot harder than it looks. These big corners are absolute torture on the body, and fighting to keep your car off the walls requires total concentration from these drivers. Jerry Labonte has been leaving some on the table in qualifying this season. Man, does this make getting a win tough. He has to be careful not to beat up the car as aerodynamics have become so important at these speedway tracks. And that's not easy to do when you have the whole field starting in front of you. Jeremy Mayfield experienced an up and down year in 2000. He had 12 top 10s and four poles, but also had 11 DNFs. He was either running up front with the leaders or taking an early exit. Those wins are great, but each DNF is exactly the opposite and can take a driver out of a points race real quick. How about the consistency shown by Kurt Busch? Oh yeah, to have an average finish in the top 10 for the season is mighty impressive. It can often be the difference that wins the championship. Good introduction. Nice Tony Stewart alternate scheme there as well. I think MRN really just, I don't know, I guess thinks the player just won't be good because I said this before, but they, they really, they're saying I'm like top 10 average finish. No, my average finish is like 1.5 game. They really didn't think the common folk players were good or something. I don't know. Just, it's funny. Anyways, let's get into it. We need every bit of advantage here on the start as possible, whether we gain spots here right away or anything. So uh, we need to go. And I think we're going to clear Terry Labonte. Then we're just going to kind of park it on the bottom here. I was going to think about maybe passing Mark, but yeah, we got we to gotta find that right balance of being aggressive, but also being you know, logical with our decisions and everything. That was not really a great three and four there. But, yeah, just a lot to, lot to think about, lots to factor in. It's all going to come down, a lot of it's to luck, just how the AI are going to react to me. Like, are they going to throw a block me or what? I don't know. Or that. That doesn't help. So, yeah, a lot of factors, like what you just literally saw as I was saying it, for it to uh, be problems. So, uh... Yeah, and also Sal is trying to block even after all that, so that is also really annoying. And that one mistake right there, that could cost us the race right there, just that that little bit of a hiccup. So that's, that really costs us a lot of time, I think, so. 
really need the AI to just kind of pull over. I know they're not supposed to, but uh, not do that what Kevin LePage is doing, because that is just stupid. Like, just why? I mean, it's not surprising Kevin LePage is doing something dumb, but I really can't aff afford the AI to just be blocking me for 30 seconds. So I think it's all going to come down once again to the timing when I make these passes or something. I don't understand the science behind it, but there's some kind of uh, I don't know, logic to the madness of this. I don't know why Dover is so randomly hard in this particular game. I guess it was like that in Thunder 03 as well. But yeah, it's, it's kind of crazy here. Just because every other track has been relatively easy. Bristol... I can't be having that. I like I have no angle in the fucking corner. I'm amazed I even made it as good as I did because Stephen Park literally just gave me nothing to work with there, and then he makes contact with Ashton Lewis, even though I was giving him a whole bunch of room there. But hey, you know, whatever. But we need to go. We need to gain so much more spots in this. From what I have seen in practice, by the time we pit on lap 18, because we are going to be pitting pretty early, just to get a big, the biggest undercut we can on the field. The only problem is. May not have the best tires by the end of the race, but it doesn't really seem like it hurts us all too bad, so should be in pretty decent shape for the ending at least. I don't know what tangent I was going on. Pitting early, I guess there's that. Oh yeah, like what position I need to be in before uh, everything, every, uh, the cycle starts. Usually it's right around 10th place or 9th. That seems to be kind of the normal position average. I've definitely done more than one practice race with this because I really want to. I really want to win, <laughs> and this is definitely a track where it's going to give me the most challenge. I wish every track was like this, where it was this level of difficulty. I mean, Grant, I probably would still be throwing, win the championship by a lot, but at least I won't be winning 20 plus races. At least it would be a little bit harder. It's kind of sad how much they n dumbed everything down for the dumb brain slobbering consumer like this is how this game treats you with season mode because career mode is kind of you know still kind of brutal still tough but then you go to season mode and it's just literally like you're on like rookie difficulty even though it's not ooh mark that was a little scary there but it's okay got turn four here giant Ben's stand to the outside so that's another easy spot to get there with Marlon kind of passing them or being in the process of passing them I'm going to try to arc it here off this corner. He might be willing to block. Yes, he is, of course. But the thing is, I get such a good run off of turn four that... Oh, the car could not rotate. Now, of course, Marlon's going to block. This, shit like this is why I'm not going to be able to win this or even have a competing chance of it. They're just going to continue to keep fucking blocking me. That shit is obnoxious. And I... I don't know what you expect me to do at a certain point. Like, I'm going to have to bump him out of the way. I don't want to do that. Someone blew up. That was Steve Park. I like how dumbass meets blowing engine there because that's that's what he gets for blocking me early in the race. Or being annoying. I don't know. But there we go. Got more spots. We're just we're really not in the best position. I should be up a lot higher in the field. Only got a couple more laps to really rack up more spots even down even the interval time's not as good 3.4 it should be right at three seconds or under it i don't know i just don't like that i've seen I'm, i felt the pattern from all the practice racing i'm doing to kind of gauge a certain amount or what to expect now as long as jeff burn gives me room here he didn't but we made an opening I like how he's not even, like, he doesn't have any friendship points with me anymore. Like, that has just dwindled as the season's gone on, funnily enough. But yeah, it's just ugh, a lot of tire smoke. But luckily we're going to be pinning here shortly, so all that's not going to matter. Uh, Newman. Alright, thank you. Another just really, really shallow angle in the corner. Surprised it didn't lead into car magnetization, magnetization there. Bobby! Well, I almost, I was almost a victim of that. But, yeah, our P11, so... Barely we're just going to meet our, our quota. 2.2, though, that's... 
not really the ideal interval. I want it to be under three seconds, personally. But, I don't know. It's going to be close, though. That's what I know. There we go. Nice round turn four. Waltrip. I don't know what he was... He looked like he was about to block. So just take it easy in the corner. Beautiful in our spot. P9. Eighth and seventh right in front of me. Robbie Gordon with a shockingly good run. But we're pinning this lap anyways. So I'm going to go down pit road. Please, no one hit me from behind. Pit road slippery. And 70. Beautiful. All right. Four tires fuel out in the way. Not repair damage. That looks like a slow stop. Yep, 17 seconds. Not what I needed. Well, there goes our chance to win. I think that's that's going to end it. Now, me and Rusty are side by side. Can I beat him getting off pit road? Yes, I can. Barely. Rusty, don't you dare try to pass me. All right. Oh, that's not good. Kentis is so far out of front of me. Rusty's trying to make a pass. I can't do anything about it. Well, I think that pit stop... That's, I mean, I was able to have some kind of control with a lot of things in this race, but that was really the one thing I really didn't have much of control of, was, and that, that was the pit stop. Really nothing I could do there, so um, I think that costed us. That's going to probably ruin it for us, because I think we're going to be probably right around maybe top five, maybe? I don't know. I guess we'll just wait and see where the cycle is out. But at least we're to the inside of Rusty, so at least we're going to get that spot back. Triple looks like he's going to give me a lot of room. Which is very nice. We actually did hit our fast lap of the day. I don't know where this puts us. I mean, Kent just looked like he was so far up the road, it was pitiful. So, he might be the new leader. I I don't really know. Yep, that's everything cycled through, and that puts us P6, and we are so far back from leader. Like, we were right around three seconds before. We lost time. A little bit of time, but that's going to be enough to cost us the race. I mean, we could probably get by Junior and Craven here. I think Craven pitted her just as early as us, but... Yeah, that pit stop, that killed us. Like, that was a good second plus we lost just from that alone, so. Yep. Sucks to lose like that, but um, I don't know what more I can do. Inside of Craven, of course he's going to block, because why not? Why not? I think Tony Sir is definitely going to get his uh, revenge win from losing it in the spring race, so. I guess that's cathartic. Good for him. I guess he's the one that's leading, or maybe it's Kenseth. I don't really know. David Green's being a real pecker. Just fucking move. Like, wh why are we blocking me? Like, Craven, sure. It's a top five spot. It's a big deal for him. I, I can sort of rationalize that, but not David Green running P42 or some shit. There we go. P5. Hooray. At least we'll get that. I'm actually really surprised we're only losing, or barely gaining a tenth. I thought I was... A little bit quicker, but, I mean, we are on older tires compared to these people, so I guess it's not too surprising. Lap traffic, shockingly, really hasn't affected them. So, uh, it really looks like fifth is all we're going to get, and nothing else eventful is going to happen. It's just going to be very dry, just like me, so, um, fitting. I appreciate that. You know, I'm trying my best to, to maybe make a run on Dale Jr. And hurry up. We have fucking dumb shit Kevin LePage blocking me on the back straight away. He lets every other AI car go, but then when it comes to me, oh, nope, we gotta block. I think the AI are fed up with my shit, too. Like, they want me to just not win. So, they're, everyone's participating in making sure I don't win. That, nice respect. I like that. I swear I was I was turning there. Uh, maybe the input on the, on the controller would show it, but I really thought I was turning, but I guess not. I just can't believe I've only gained three tenths. Don't know why Dover is just randomly hard, but then again I'm fifth. So is it really that hard? I don't know, but it's so strange when 99% of the races I'm able to just absolutely just curb stomp the field, unless it's a play track where the AI kind of, or kind of naturally pulls me around with, but. Weird. I don't know. Hey, at least lap traffic's boning someone other than me. It's just Ken Schrader's just literally just destroying Dale Jr.'s race. And of course, they're all gonna block. Maybe I can do something in turn four. Sorry, Junior. I don't know. I don't know. Like, all right. I guess we'll get a cheap spot because of lap traffic. So, um, thank you, Field. I I guess I appreciate that. I mean, first you weren't, first you were not helping me, and then you are. So, mixed messaging is making me very confused right now. 
my flag. I mean, even with the picker mistakes and that, like, lap two incident where they, I ran the back of someone, don't think any of that was going to make up three seconds. At least, one, I know, at least I know one of those seconds probably going to be made up, but we should have at least easily gotten a second. That's At least that's for sure. Lap turn four. Man, lap traffic. They're trying. <laughs> we'll take a fourth. Let me guess. Tony, yep, he won. He got his payback for the spring race. I hope Tony Stewart's happy. Don't even know. Ricky Craven got eighth, too. I don't even know what to say. It's just, it just everything went wrong. I, not everything, but just the pit crew messed it up. The freaking AI wrecked in front of me. That stacked me up. Just should have at least gotten a second. That's all. That's all I wanted. Like be like 1.6 seconds back or 1.5. That's probably or even I don't know how much that affected me. But fine, I'll take a freaking fourth. We'll go back to our winning ways until Kansas. Probably I don't know. I think that's Tony Stewart's first win of the year. I think. Sadly enough, but he did dominate. He led 37 of the 40, and Junior led the other three, I guess, during pit cycle. And second place at Kenseth was only 2.2 back. We were only 2.5. I don't know if I would have had a shot, but... Like a 1.2 second pit stop, that was so much slower than the estimated time. That should at least have been like 1.3, then that stack up on lap two. I don't know if that would have caused us a second, but at least we would have been like under a second back, or at least relatively close... We could have at least tried to make a run for it, but we just never had that shot. And, um, I don't know what really more to say. We lost, and I did try as hard as I possibly could. So, um, that's like the first true race where I've, I've lost straight up, and it wasn't because of a caution coming out at a bad time, or the caution glitch not happening at Bristol, where I was banking on it happening, and we kind of discovered a solution to it, maybe, mid-race. So, um... I kind of had I kind of threw off my entire race strategy to anticipate it and it didn't happen. But I'm sure under normal circumstances we probably would have won that if we just pitted normally. I don't know. Um but either way Mark Martin I don't know what he's doing 22nd. But yeah. I don't know. I don't know what more to say. We'll back out of it. I'm 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 defeated. It's weird to feel this feeling again. It's been a while. Next up's Talladega. That should be kind of a guaranteed easy win. So, yeah. I think for the first time this entire season, Tony Stewart's going to gain points on me. It's not a lot, but he's going to gain points on me. <laughs> it That's weird to even say. But our average finish is still 1.6. It's not even up to second. <laughs> still doing good with that. But, yeah. Don't know what... I don't, I don't know. It's just... I've ran out of words to say. Ken, freaking Ricky Craven is 14th. And, okay, he's way out of 200 points out of catching Mark Martin. But Ricky Craven could legitimately just finish top 15 in points at this rate. Like, that's it's impressive. Tony Stewart led a bunch of laps. He's oh, He actually jumped up to second now in the lap leaderboard thing. So that's neat. And that's pretty much it. I guess we'll wrap it up. There's nothing more to say. Big shout out my two or three Patreon supporters today for our Channel 15, Kamikaze Games, Bailey Carrier, Maxi Link 1986, Jason Hellman, and my name is Sean for support. Again, I appreciate what you guys do for my channel every single month. It does me a lot. Always goes a long ways, so just thank you for the continued support. See you all next episode of Talladega. And next paint scheme is the Sharpie Ford, so that'll be nice to look at. So yeah, really the only do uh, two big question marks is really just Kansas and uh, Homestead. That's about it. I feel like we're going to probably win at Rockham just like we did before. Phoenix should be easy. Th I said that, then Thunder 03 we didn't win, so maybe that's a mysteriously like, tricky track. I don't know, but we have a couple up here that are going to... I mean, we should we should be able to beat Richard Petty's modern era win record. Like That should be a pretty much given. I'm expecting at least a 30 win season, but we still got chances to lose some, so the max we only get right now is like 33, so. I don't know. 30 win season is possible, that's all I'm trying to say. Either way, I'm done. See you all next episode, video. See you all later, and as always, have a good day, everyone.